Hey guys, it's Chloe and I'm here with Lori Zasler, the co-founder of Project Soulmate here in New York. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks for having me, Chloe. All right, so we are going to break down celebrity relationships right now. So Rihanna and Chris Brown, are you sick of hearing about them yet? It's upsetting to me that we're even talking about them in the same sentence after the rancid Axie. Yes, when he, you know, beat her up in 2009 and left her unconscious in the car. All right, okay, so we won't get into that right now, but Rihanna, she was just in Australia, she was in Sydney, and she was promoting her new movie, Battleship, and she was wearing a trench coat and nothing else when she went out to dinner. So a lot of people are saying, Lori, that she did this to get Chris Brown's attention, because she's in this love triangle right now, it's all a complicated mess. So you tell me, is sexing yourself up the right thing to do to get an ex back? Okay, that type of ex, no way. But X in general, no, because someone's your ex for a reason. That's why there's an X on it. Okay. So I think, honestly, she needs to move on if that's what she's doing, even trying to get him jealous because it's not worth her time. She's been through enough with him. Mm -hmm. And no one should have to go through some of the things she went through. What do you think about that kind of attention, though? You know, like girls who are, you know, pushing their boobs out or, you know, Miley Cyrus forgot to wear underwear the other day. I mean, what do you I'm think? Sure she about forgot. <laughs> what do you think about this whole sexing yourself up to get a guy's attention? I think it's an important, just to draw the line, mm -hmm. having sex appeal is important. Okay. Yes. Sexy, okay. not slutty. You're an example. All right. Wearing a trench coat with a little peak and a little tweet of your... But you saw those photos now yeah. and we're showing them to you right now. So Rihanna, look at that. I mean, she is clearly not wearing anything underneath. Is that appropriate? It's appropriate if you're going home with your man and you're doing it as a fun game of dress up. Yes. It's okay. not appropriate but, when you're promoting yourself. But when you're that yourself. famous though too, yeah. you think it's okay? No, I don't. Okay. Famous or not famous, because when you go out and put yourself out there, especially when you're famous because you're always being followed, people are being paid to take pictures of you, now, let alone you taking pictures of yourself. Right. Now, Lori, here's the other thing, though. Okay, so Facebook and Twitter, and you know all of our mothers and especially employers are telling us, you know, do not post things on Twitter and Facebook. So Rihanna is also tweeting all these really sexy photos of herself. What about posting these things on the internet? Should girls be careful about the image they're also portraying online? Of course, because not only do you have to protect the image that reality is creating for you as far as who you are in your everyday life, but the image that you and your friends. It's one thing if you're tweeting about yourself, but if you're in a picture with a friend, I mean, it's the hugest thing in the world. Do you think that this could actually be pushing Chris Brown away and having a counter effect because she's actually, you know, making herself look just kind of weak and just, you know, like, come and use me now? I mean, she just looks desperate, right? I think it's definitely, well, he is not a fair chance of normality or even right. a response. But yes, I think anyone that's going to go out of their way to publicly say, hi, you know, I mean, I highly doubt he's following her. Maybe one of well, his Well, then it also it can hurt someone's future relationships because her future absolutely. boyfriend could see these. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I mean, it's the image of who, what do you want to give out as far as in the present and the future, all those things now can be tracked, you know? Well, let's give everyone one dating tip right now. So if you're going on a first date, what kind of outfit should you wear? Chloe, sexy. Okay. Not slutty. She looks very, very, very sexy. Beautiful, nice, together. Not a trench coat, not something <laughs> where too much cleavage, okay. too much booty. I mean, come on. Daisy Dukes are not even in, are they? No way. Okay, so you can save that for like date three or four, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Uh, date, no. I mean, right, see? I mean, nah. Leave something to be desired. Okay. Bottom line, right or wrong. Right. And Rihanna is leaving nothing to the imagination. Not much. Nothing. All right, so for more on what Lori does, go to projectsoulmate.com. And for more on the latest news, gossip, style, beauty, and more, keep coming back to Hollywood Life.